the very near future, global energy demands will dramatically increase, will the world be able to respond with adequate supply? Nearly everyone is part of some community, whether large or small, and all of these communities need light, they need heat. People need to be able to get from one place to another, and a supply of energy is the basis for all of these activities. We have about 7 billion people in the world, and within the next several decades, it's projected that that'll go up to about 10 billion. We are here talking about the growing energy needs, not just in the United States, but in the world. And should nuclear power be a part of the equation? We have, a, what, 435 nuclear power plants operating in the world right now. The ones that some of us grew up with are now over 50 years old. This technology has its problems, but show me a technology that doesn't. With nuclear, there's accident risk. But you're only as good as the risks that you know about. Breaking news now. There has just been an explosion at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The containment vessel has been breached and the dangerous radiation has been leaking into the air. The situation is, quote, catastrophic and could be the worst nuclear disaster in history after Three Mile Island and Chernobyl. Over the last several days, the American people have been both heartbroken and deeply concerned about the developments in Japan. Here at home, nuclear power is an important part of our own energy future. That's why I've asked the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to do a comprehensive review of the safety of our domestic nuclear plants in light of the natural disaster that unfolded in Japan. We're going to take a look at what happened. And this certainly will be new information that when we have good, credible information about what happened in Japan, we'll take that information and, and we'll, we'll work to see what, what changes we might need to make, if any, to our system. As Japan battles a nuclear nightmare, there are growing concerns at more than 6,000 miles away. In Buchanan, New York, that's where you'll find the nuclear power plant known as Indian Point. 35 miles north of New York City, Officials are studying the plant's safety in the wake of Japan's disaster. The two reactors generate electricity to about 2 million homes in Westchester, the Bronx, and Manhattan. Ever since it was built in the 1960s, Indian Point has been a magnet for controversy. With so much attention focused on Indian Point, the future of nuclear plants in the United States might depend on what happens here.